City Police tell the 11 News I team that they're conducting an internal affairs investigation into a recent incident, and all of this is over a response to a home burglary. Yeah, they want to know whether a detective made derogatory comments about a, a retired judge while being informed about possible evidence in a series of home burglaries. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims joins us in the studio with surveillance video from one of the break ins. Barry. Stan and Kate, it was a brazen act. Major appliances stolen on Northwest Baltimore community seeking action, and now a police investigation into an alleged comment made by an officer handling the case. With a cigarette in his mouth, a man is captured on home surveillance video coming out of a window after breaking into a house right across the street from Forest Park Golf Course, then using a crowbar to pry open the security and front doors. The bay window. Nicole Gatewood is an assistant attorney general. She is a first time homeowner, and the house is under renovation. Now she has to replace this bay window shattered by a thief. A Samsung 36 inch refrigerator was carried out of it. Burglars hit the house three times in a week during the month of May, stealing major appliances, including the air conditioning unit. Oh, it's horrific, but it's not just my property. Um, this area is under siege. According to the Hillsdale Heights Neighborhood Association, six homes were burglarized within a month. Residents have added surveillance cameras, alarm systems, and floodlights to try to keep themselves from becoming victims. This was from the second break, and of course, they kicked through this door. Gatewood had surveillance cameras installed right after that second burglary. They caught this video of a suspect rolling the washer and dryer down the front steps and a truck pulling away from the house loaded with the washer, dryer, and a refrigerator. After getting no information on the progress of the police investigation for three weeks, Gatewood and her father, retired Judge Askew Gatewood, hired private investigators. They say within four hours, the private investigators located a truck possibly matching the suspect's vehicle, and that evidence, including a partial tag number, was turned over to police. But they say a detective involved in the case sent back a message. Told them to tell Judge Gatewood go f off. And DPD was handling it. The retired judge's response? If you are a detective, and I presume this person is, and you have that type of anger towards a victim that you're supposed to be assisting, something is seriously misplaced. When the police department does not work in a unified front with us, our hands are tied. We don't want to be prisoners in our homes. We don't want to have to have bars all over our windows. We want to feel safe. Baltimore Police gave us this statement, quote, Detectives worked tirelessly to track down and arrest the suspects responsible for violating the sanctity and privacy of a victim's home. Investigations into these crimes are of the utmost importance to the Baltimore Police Department, end quote. And the alleged misconduct is being investigated by the Police Internal Affairs Division. Reporting live from the studio, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.